Continuing coverage of Youngstown's holiday parade and tree lighting. A lot going on downtown as people get ready for the annual event. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney is in the middle of all the fun. He's live tonight with more. Well, there are going to be upwards of 40 different floats or uh, exhibits in tonight's parade, but I think I got the coolest one of all right now. Uh, this is a replica of the Ghostbusters car, and it's going to be part of the holiday parade here tonight in downtown Youngstown. Joining me is Ryan Sheridan. He's the owner of Break Breaking Point Recovery Center, and he's the owner of the car. Give me the history of the car itself. Uh, the car is a 1959 uh, Cadillac Hertz. It, uh it was owned by MGM, uh, as we used in the movie uh, In the Heat of the Night as a hearse before it was a Ghostbusters car. And in 1989, they turned it into the Ghostbuster car for some promotional use. And then they sold it at auction in 1993 to a private collector. And uh, I wanted one, and you can find anything online. So yeah. It's not the original Ghostbusters no. car. One the movie, right? No, it's not the original one from the movie, but built by the same company that made the movie, so it's an exact replica. Now, this is the first time it's kindly been seen publicly in Youngstown, correct? Yeah, I, I drove it around on Halloween and pretended like I was hunting ghosts for a little bit and got some attention, but this will be the first night it's been out. Now, this is exactly like the car that's in the movie, right? Completely identical, yep. What are you going to do with it after this? Just show it around? Just show it around. Maybe take it around, let kids see it, and uh, parades and stuff like that. What's been the response so far? Oh, everybody taking pictures and pulling up next to you, taking videos and waving, and just the looks on people's faces uh, makes it worthwhile. All right, Ryan, thanks a lot. You, you do it. appreciate it. And again, now in Youngstown is a replica of the Ghostbusters car. It's even playing the Ghostbusters music in the background.